4-2 defeat at games with Danny. Does that leave you angry? Yeah, to say the least. Um, probably the worst I've felt as a coach, to be honest with you. That first half is nothing, nothing short of an embarrassment. Not one player came off that pitch in the first half with any sort of credit. Um, and, and that's that was a <laughs> that was a scary thought, to be honest with you, Steve. Um, it's the first time I've looked at a team and thought. I'm embarrassed to put my name to it, and it's my team. It's my team. It's not the lads. It's me. Um, I pick players and I bring players in, not just on football ability but mentality as well. Um, but that is the first time I've looked at it and questioned what I, what I was watching. To be honest with you, the basics of football are incredible. First goal is a long throw. We, they actually get lucky. We get away with the first one. We don't get set quick enough, we throw it in the box, it bounces in our six yard line, yeah. no one takes responsibility. Second goal, we have a throw in. People can say it's errors, it's basics of football. Do the basics of football right. Um, there was a team there that wanted to win that game today, and that was Gainsborough. And there was a team there that was there to play a game of football. And that, in the second half, it's probably even harder for me to take, to be honest with you. I think if we go and get beat, Three or four nil. You look at it and go, Do you know what? It's a bad day at the office. Let's write it off and go again. But the second half showed that we're more than a match for them, and, yeah. and, and that's a, that's the biggest frustration, to be honest with you. Having said all that, I mean uh, the stats point to uh, who's been very much in that game uh, in terms no, of possession. No, no, I'm not having that. Chances, no, corners. No, not having it. Not having it. Right. There's one team there that wanted to win the game more than the other, and, and credit to Russ and his team. They've, they've, they've got a squad there. And obviously Russ came in when they were in trouble and, and he's assembled a squad there of men that want to go and win football matches. And the, the biggest thing for me was the will to run in the first half was much greater in the games per side than there was in ours. And that's that's an absolute crime, to be honest with you. An absolute crime. And we can say all we want about stats and all that sort of thing. The easiest time to play football is when you're 3-0 down. That, that is the easiest time to play football because, let's be honest, the game's done. And, and look, credit to the boys, they kept going, they dug in. Even the fourth goals, it's an embarrassment, to be honest with you. Um, but would, you would you accept that they did redeem themselves no, slightly? No, not in the slightest. Right. Not for me. You've, self-pride as a player, as a coach, is that it's, it's no good turning up for 45 minutes. There's a 90-minute match there. The game was done at half-time. I mean, yeah, we got back into it at 3-2, but it's nowhere near good enough. It's not good enough. And I'll take the blame because I've probably, look, for me, I've given the, the lads a little bit of an excuse that obviously with my leaving, um, things like that, um, but I thought I had enough players in there that it meant something to them and built strong enough of relationships up over the, the four seasons that I knew I trusted them and that I would go and get everything out of them. Um, but today, it feels like a real kick in the teeth, to be honest with you, and, and not so much as a coach, but more on a personal side today. Uh, you finished with one recognised defender on the uh, on the pitch. Um, Square pegs in round holes was it? No, was it was that just tactics. Tactics. There was obviously Sam came off with a hamstring injury. Um, all the other substitutions were tactical. Right. If you don't do your job, you don't stay on the pitch. I don't care if it's the first half or the last minute. If you don't do your job, you, you don't want to do, do it properly. Um, and that isn't slighted at just one. Look, I could have took any single one of them, and from Jim right the way through to um, the, the top line, and. In the first half, not one of them could have complained about coming off at half time. They were absolutely miles off it. They were bullied physically. They were ran over the top of, and that is something that, as a, as a footballer, as someone who plays football, that's got to hurt. I, that, that, the one side of your, your game you could control is the mentality and the running. Now, everyone's allowed to have a bad game, everyone's allowed to make mistakes, but not to have that is an absolute crime. So you feel let down. What, uh, what would you be looking for next week? Will you get that response from them? We'll find out, won't we? Do you know what I mean? The, the people have got to show me Tuesday, Thursday that they want to start on Saturday. Um, I'm going to pick my team this week on who trains the best. Um, I've probably been loyal to a lot of players at this place because of, of what we've done over the last four years. Um, the players aren't willing to do it in training on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, they won't play on Saturday or Monday. Uh, we've got two of the young development lads training with us this week, obviously with the quick turnaround. And if, um, if they do well in training, they'll get their opportunity on Saturday. Danny, thanks as ever for your honest assessment. Cheers, Steve, thank you.